Hello everyone, and thank you for giving us the time to shed light on our SWCC Water Dispatch Center project. My name is Walid Abu Shakra, I'm the Digital Energy Manager at Khatib and Alami's Energy and Utilities Sector, and I would like to thank Mead and the esteemed panel of judges for awarding us this prestigious accolade of Digital Infrastructure Project of the Year 2020. So let's dive right ahead. As the world's largest producer of desalinated water, producing around 5.6 million cubic meters of desalinated water per day, or 22% of the total desalinated water in the world, our strategic client, the Saline Water Conversion Corporation, SWCC, in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, had a vision of being a leader and innovator in seawater desalination and power production at the highest levels of quality and at the lowest price, while tackling challenges of water scarcity and rising consumption rates in the kingdom. The SWCC Water Dispatch Center was a first-of-its-kind project for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia's water desalination sector, and through this strategic and groundbreaking project, Khatib and Alame was able to seamlessly integrate architecture, engineering, and construction with information technology and operational technology to deliver a water management system, or WMS, through a design-build model and technology system integration to help SWCC realize their ambitious digital transformation plans. And by providing a holistic, centralized view of the kingdom's water networks and operations, from production and transmission to distribution and consumption, the Water Dispatch Center, located centrally in Riyadh, connects and collects data from the various water production plants on the east and west coasts, along with interfacing with all other water stakeholders and further optimizing water production across KSA to meet the rising demands. So let's take a closer look at this key project. With the goal of becoming the world's pioneer in seawater desalination, SWCC aimed to centralize and optimize water network management and monitoring across KSA. However, there was a major challenge ahead. That challenge was reconciling SWCC's water transmission and production facilities information, which were in different formats and across different geographies in the kingdom. Kane Day achieved that by designing and implementing an integrated water management system through a solid infrastructure with OSI Soft SPY as its cornerstone and tightly integrating it with Esri's Geographic Information System GIS platform, Enterprise Resource Planning ERP, SCADA Distributed Control System DCS, and other enterprise applications such as production scheduling and dispatch to optimize the overall cost of water production. Khatib and Alame designed and constructed a new water dispatch center for SWCC to house this innovative WMS, which allowed them to realize quick wins almost instantly by moving from manual data entry, collection and reporting with no overall vision of the operations across the kingdom, to centralized monitoring of real-time operations, planning and instructing the optimized scheduling of desalinated water production, and reviewing performance of past operations from a central location. With this optimization of plant production, SWCC is now better able to meet the demands for water and electricity production while saving on operational costs and assessing performance. So let's take a look at the project's overall objectives. The primary objectives of the project are tied with the overarching goal of centralizing water network monitoring and optimizing water and electricity production at SWCC, and K&A and a and the project stakeholders were able to achieve these objectives successfully. As such, the first objective was to connect the 29 disparate and often siloed desalination plants distributed over 17 sites on the eastern and western coasts of the kingdom and to centrally collect and store their data in order to perform the necessary production scheduling optimization. The data was then displayed on a large 15 meter wide main screen that k a designed and installed with additional inherent spatial intelligence through integration with GIS. Real-time data from the SCADA DCS and the meters were also being collected to monitor the real-time capacity and storage of the SWCC's plants and other WPPs and the demand from the distribution networks. Having all this information centrally in front of the operators gave SWCC a holistic view of the entire water sector. In turn, this allowed them to analyze the data and make more well-informed decisions about water and electricity production to meet their demands. Additionally, automation was required in order to consolidate and digitize the data from various sources and to generate operational reports. SWCC executives and managers were also empowered through live dashboard views and KPI visualization and monitoring tools right at their fingertips. 
All of these objectives needed to be accomplished in order to provide SWCC with the planning capability to optimize production schedules for the next 24 to 48 hour periods based on future forecasts, historical data, and current demands and capacities. This resulted in overall optimized water production on all facets of reducing operational costs, reducing risks of failure to meet demand or overloaded facilities, improving performance and increasing productivity to meet SWCC's aspirations of their international standing, while not compromising the quality of the desalinated water being produced. Eventually, the Water Dispatch Center will become the cornerstone for SWCC's digital transformation and the first step in the evolution of the water sector in KSA. So how did we achieve that? K&A and SWCC implemented a digital solution for managing the water business as shown in this conceptual diagram. It all starts with the data that's being digitally collected and shared across the various parts of the system. The SCADA system control provides the integrated system with the necessary data and meter measurements to initiate and update the operational planning process. It also carries out the automated dispatch process for the units under its control and provides the data necessary for business intelligence, dashboarding, and KPIs. The demands from the water distribution companies for the next few days and the declarations of availability, capacity, and capability parameters from the water producers are also collected and shared with the production scheduler. In turn, the production scheduler will then optimize the water production costing from the desalination plants of SWCC and other WPPs with consideration of water transmission costing, dynamic fuel costs, electricity tariffs, and network status, thereby producing a schedule for the desalination units over the next 24 to 48 hour period. The plant's availability declarations and production schedule are all digitally collected by the computerized declaration and instructions module, which enables the dispatch to automatically transfer and record its instructions to the water production plants for optimized operations. It also acts as the link between the system operation and the commercial market operation. Another key module in the system is the data manager, which is shown in the bottom left part of the diagram. The data manager collects all the relevant data from the various systems that are exchanged between the various players to satisfy SWCC's code. It also validates the accuracy of the collected data and generates reports regularly on the outcome of these functions, mainly to verify compliance with instructions and declarations. Finally, the market manager generates financial reports on market transactions, performance reporting notes on compliance against known commercial agreements between market players, and it also supports the market operator in resolving financial disputes. In conclusion, the WMS gives SWCC a complete control of water production and transmission in a way not seen before. The approach that K&A followed for SWCC was one that would deliver value not only to SWCC's processes, assets, and resources, but also to its customers. By transitioning from manual to digital workflows on a highly extendable, modular, and interoperable system, and integrating architecture, engineering, and construction with ITOT systems, K&A made the digitized information work for the entire company and leveled up the skills of SWCC's workforce and their implementation of international best practices. This helped them derive knowledge and wisdom from their existing data. By connecting the disparate data sources, collecting the required data from the various stakeholders and systems, and contextualizing that data with spatial awareness and real-time information, K&A helped SWCC convert digitized data into higher value information. Of course, a project of such high-profile nature meant a big spotlight was placed on the design of the actual water dispatch center. Our main objective here was to reinvigorate the existing building with a new, environmentally friendly design capable of housing the new state-of-the-art water management system. And you can see the various stages of construction with what the room looked like before we started construction on the far left and what the dispatch center looks like today on the far right. To achieve this, we carried out a topographical survey of the building and its surroundings, along with a visual survey to examine its conditions. The main design challenge was to boost the structure of the existing building, seal off the exterior skin, and adapt it so that the SWCC could use it as its main control and monitoring center. In addition, one of the challenges was to relocate the existing data center to a new location to maximize the space. As such, Kane A's environmentally friendly building design 
accounted for the project location and constraints and also maximized the indoor environmental quality to create a healthy and comfortable space for the building's users. We worked on several alternatives for the project's exterior and interior renovation with the client and settled on an optimal design that would not only inspire occupants to think about how they can live more sustainably when they go about their daily routines, but also match the ethos of SWCC to produce water and electricity in the most efficient way for the benefit of society and the environment. The design was driven by such considerations as maximizing natural light, saving energy, and improving the thermal comfort and indoor air quality, as well as providing flexibility for future expansion. SWCC's digital infrastructure also included dashboards and reports, giving SWCC full visibility into their operations across KSA and providing them the ability to monitor the networks and operations in real time. Some snapshots from the system are shown on the slide, including an extract from the planned versus actual monthly overview report, the spatial intelligence dashboard courtesy of the integration with GIS, and dashboards and screens showing the data at various levels of the system, from the turbines to the pumps to the overall plants along with alarms and KPIs to maintain optimal operations. So what's next for SWCC's dispatch center? Well, by optimizing the analysis and usage of information from the different sites and monitoring the efficiency and operations of these different sites in real time from one central location, SWCC's Water Dispatch Center can unlock several future opportunities for further digital transformation and smart water network management across KSA. It provides a single point of truth for the water sector's decision makers and paves the way for future solicitation of business analysis, optimization, and integration of the centralized information. Business processes such as leak detection, hydraulic modeling, root cause analysis, water system benchmarking, and remote control of the water network assets have the potential to be digitized and implemented on top of the platform, eventually leading to intelligent water network asset management across the kingdom. So thank you for your attention, and we hope that this landmark project inspires other similar ones across the region. Khatib and Alame is very proud of this strategic project for SWCC and of all the time and effort placed by all the project stakeholders to achieve our client's vision of having innovative models and integrated digital solutions that revolutionize the way they manage operations sustainably and economically. Thanks again.